Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how can we test rendering, filtering and sorting of a table like this. Now, this is not a static table. So I open the developers toolbar, go to the network, reload this page. And we are making a network request okay, to this URL. And this is the response that we are getting. Okay, so in here you would see the users, for example, ID7, you see ID7 and then Michael. Uh, so this is the email, all right. So I'm just displaying all these users in this grid. Okay, now I've already exported this project to GitHub, just in case you are interested to download this application, just go to this public repository, all right, download the code from here. Make sure you open your terminal at package json location and you run the command npm install once that command is successfully executed next command you have to run is npm start and that will launch this application in the browser now guys for years we have heard that to create a table we say table element and then inside that we have table head to contain uh, the headers of the table then we have another section which is the T body which contains the data okay now then we have inside these table head and table body we have the TR which represents the rows and then we have TD which represents a cell those are old days guys because you know you create your table element first then you style it then you add JavaScript to that and you apply filters sorting uh, pagination all by yourself lot of work okay so I have used this AG grid component. Okay. And this is available in all these different frameworks. So I have used it on react. Let me quickly walk you through the application code because uh, the time that I've spent in building the test case is way more than the time I spent in building this application. So we have created a dev element and applied this styling to this div and then created this ag grid react component and in here i have added certain properties for example for pagination i just have to say enable this pagination and set the pagination size to six so let me just change it to three okay and save it so that would relaunch the application and now you see we have one of three being displayed in here and then we have four to six displayed onto the next page all right so it's that easy okay this is what we have to do uh, to enable pagination if we use you know components like this isn't it so cool right in development you just have to configure it no more coding okay for pagination but guys now let's understand this is called as client side pagination so why i'm saying client side pagination so when you load this grid the first time okay we make just one call which downloads all the data that we have to display in this grid okay and whatever pagination size that we have applied okay accordingly your data would be displayed there are few more properties that i've enabled do i want to apply the filter i say yes apply the filters then would you like to apply sorting yes would you like to apply the resizing uh would, would you like it to take the whole uh space of the grid i am telling you this right guys that these days we are getting more and more developer friendly libraries but testing friendly libraries are still lacking so this is my app and i'm just fetching the data from this particular url okay i'm just loading that into the grid so i'm saying just call this function whenever the grid is ready all right so that's about the development so i move on to now the testing part guys okay so i have created this folder table sort filter pagination under integration and this is the file that we are going to work on all right now guys i'm not going to cover pagination because pagination i have already uh, covered in my other series on cypress okay so if you have not watched that please go and check that out the other thing i'm not going to cover is in there we have iterated over uh, rows and then each cell in those rows to find a specific value okay not gonna do that the focus of this video is how to test rendering sorting and filtering okay so we have 7 8 9 10 11 12 these are my ids uh, if i say 
a okay so i'm applying the filter now you see only four records one of four of four as you could see and uh, i can also apply the ascending and descending sorting all right guys okay so how do we do this in testing all right let's get started so my first test case is rendered check all of the data is rendered now guys understand this how how a developer is developing this application so they create the component they make an http request once the component is ready whatever data that they have received from that response they load it does they test that a response is valid or not no because they believe that you know the api is giving them the correct response so we got to believe the same okay why uh, now you will you will say hey as a as a qa we should never assume i'm not saying you have to assume so guys it is very important we do the api testing okay once you do your api testing then you will definitely be sure about whether your api is working or not okay so we too would start with the same assumptions developers are starting with they assume the api is returning us the correct data so make sure you do your api testing before you do this testing okay so guys what i'm doing in here let's see the before each so i'm fetching the data from this api using cw.request in my before each and i'm saving into this alias users okay then when i launch this page okay we make a call from the application to this particular endpoint so i'm also intercepting that and then i'm visiting the page okay now guys in the test case what i'm doing is i'm saying okay hey uh wait for this request to be made okay because the grid will only be populated once we receive the response from the server isn't it so i'm waiting for it all right so then i'm saying okay uh now the grid has the data i have to start writing my test case now what i'm doing i'm saying once this is done then read the whole table guys i'm not checking for one or two cell values okay we have to test rendering and we have to check whatever response that is being given by the api has to be rendered properly isn't it so we have to test the complete table okay so i read that complete table and then i compare that with the response okay that i received from the api so this way i can ensure that the data that is being rendered into the grid is the same that is being given by the api call all right but what is this read table guys okay so let us look at this so i'm creating a list of users okay so this is a collection so if you might have noticed so let me open the developers toolbar again go to the networks reload this page and here is my response so in here under the data right data contains the collection of users okay so i'm gonna compare this collection of users with the collection of users that i am going to create by reading each of these rows and then each of these cells inside those rows okay so i'm going to create a, a similar format and then i'm going to compare the, these two collections okay so ignore this if statement i'll tell you why uh, what is the reason of this so i have created this empty array and then i'm saying okay uh, cy dot get row select okay so i'm finding all of these rows using this particular selector okay so let us open the element section the control f and so you see i'm finding one of six so in total there are six right so like this so i'm able to find these elements okay all right so then i'm saying i'm using the each command in cypress so i'm saying iterate over each okay now each row is going to give me what a user 
okay so i'm just creating one more variable and i'm just wrapping this this row okay in using cy dot wrap so that i can now execute cypress five uh, find command okay now this column id guys what is this so this is the identifier for the column now this is going to give me a uh, five column in each row okay and then the next thing i'm doing is this is now the jquery object so i'm calling the attribute method and i'm saying okay find the value of this attribute because this is what we are displaying id email first name last name blah 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 okay we are using the text method to fetch that text we are trimming uh, for the leading and trailing spaces and then i'm converting that into an integer for others we just need the text okay it's still advisable to do the trim and all but that's fine not required in my application at least so i think if the case is email do this blah 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 i'm setting the property user.id to all these values okay and then the user is created and i'm simply add that to the collection of users using the row index because in each you have the element and the index value okay the third argument is the the collection itself but we don't require that okay now we are populating this once we iterate through uh, all the rows you know we have the value populated in this variable but this is synchronous code and how do we use that into asynchronous uh, cypress code we just say in then cy dot wrap this right so and finally we add return in front of cy dot get so this is going to give me uh, all the users that are there in the grid guys okay so let us now scroll down i hope the concept is clear and i'm gonna run this this case okay so we are comparing the data that is being rendered in the grid with the api response okay makes sense control s okay so you could see we are able to test the rendering okay so now i just do a right click go to the inspect just to show you so we go to console we can click on this so in here okay so we expected these values and this is my actual okay they are same okay and guys uh if you want the code the code is already exported to this github repo okay more on cypress next case is sorting okay so sorting can be ascending or it can be uh, descending and again guys check for all the data okay this is what you have to do you have to align your testing strategy with the development strategy don't just check for one or two values right because at times what happens is when you apply the sort only that column data is sorted and the other column data is then distorted right that's not the correct way so unless and until you check that all the rows are sorted properly and not just one column right you're not doing the complete testing okay so this gives me the row okay but this order will always remain the same even after you apply the sorting so that sorted data has to be figured out by using this particular syntax okay so let us sort on email okay so we have this all right now you see seven is at the fourth place okay but if i run the same command which one is selected this one okay if you want to fetch this value first and put that into the array okay you have to use the different selector which is this okay so instead of this right role is equal to row we have to use array index so guys let's copy this syntax and paste that in here okay now you see when i say three the first one is selected okay so this way i just keep on adding one and i can iterate through this now the thing is why i started with three you can say this is kind of one and two and this is your three okay so therefore i started with three so in the else you know we are taking care of sort and filter all right and we are saying uh first find the rows for that we use the same thing okay but then 
I say, okay, for each, uh, because I want to work on the index because I require, in, uh, require to add the index in this. So I need to know how many rows are there, right? So with each, I again say row and row index, then I again create the user object and I change the selector, okay? I just take that and add the row index plus three okay to that and then i say cy.get all right fine the rest of the logic would remain the same okay now that's about being the sorted data from the grid but now we have to programmatically sort the data that we have received from the api okay and how do we do that so sorting can be done on numbers because there is an id field but uh, you can also do it on string okay so in our test case uh, we are sorting first the, the ascending way and we are sorting on the basis of email okay so that's a string how do we do that so now sorting could be ascending or descending guys so i'm saying if the type is equal to ascending in my javascript theories i've already explained how you can uh, sort and array of objects okay so i've used the same logic in here I'm using the sort method and then i'm providing my customized uh, logic to sort these values so in here you see for ascending this is my logic and then down below for descending that's the logic okay so now i hope you get the point i'm applying the sorting on the ui right i'm reading all the data i've got the collection of users then on the response or api response and i'm using this logic so now both of the data are sorted in, in the sending manner and then i'm gonna do the comparison let's see that okay let us run this okay so something is happening yeah so now if we compare okay on the email you see this is the actual all right and this is what we are expecting so this is from the response that we sorted programmatically and this is from the grid that we sorted okay so if you have to do the descending you have to use the same logic but then in here you say descending so now let us see that okay here also our test case has been passed and let us see on the email so it starts from t and at the bottom we have this b okay same is the case with this okay now uh to uh, sort the data in the descending order you have to click, click twice because when you click once it uh, is the ascending order when you click twice it is a descending order okay so let us set it to skip last one is filter and guys again the logic is simple again so i'm saying just uh find the field type something into that so we are typing a this time guys uh, just allow me to add weight like i mentioned this is client side filtering so client has got all the data and now it is running some logic to filter out so i was looking for uh, you know some events but due to sh shortage of time i was not able to figure out the exact event uh, or how the grid is actually uh, filtering it at the client side so I just added the weight okay but like i've said uh, try to not uh, use way try to find out even this filtering is applied or anything of that sort so that you have better control over uh, you know how you are setting up your test cases okay and then at the end again uh, the logic is same we are just filtering it and we are comparing the results so i just change it to only and save it and go back to my application and this time we see filter data so there has to be four records okay you see we are typing a and in here we have four records and now this is again guys working okay so it's already a long video just imagine you know if i would have uh, done all this typing in front of you it would have make, made this video even longer so therefore i decided to you know do it this way and i'm like i said i've already exported the code to github so that you can refer to it so guys this is how i uh, test rendering filtering and sorting so if you like this video just give this video a thumbs up so i'll see you in the next video